Hey everyone, are you like me? You have an older model trailer, like a 2012. You have this wonderful Jensen unit that you, this RV radio system with DVD and auxiliary and all that good stuff. Times have changed and nowadays everybody carries one of these in their pockets and we have Bluetooth and we want to play our playlists and stuff. So why not add Bluetooth to our old trailer? might be easier than you think it actually going to be because I ordered this Bluetooth module off of Amazon. I'll put the link down below here. And the plan, there's always a plan on this channel. Mind you, nothing ever goes as planned. Usually nothing goes as planned. We're gonna be hooking this up. We're gonna be hitting auxiliary two or three on the unit. And then we're gonna be able to stream our music via Bluetooth from our phones to our actual trailer without having any other device that's needed to be plugged in and stuff like that. And I, I don't know if this is going to work, but I don't, I, uh, I don't know. So this is our 2012 toy hauler that we just purchased and it is in really good condition. And you can see here, I'm actually cleaning the floor with a product and I'm halfway halfway done i've been using that screwdriver thing right there but yeah this is the trailer and again this is the unit so this might look familiar to a lot of use and this is going to be fairly easy to remove there's just a little trim bezel around here to pull out and then some screws and uh, we're gonna get going i'm gonna do my best to try and stay out of everybody's way to show you so this bezel should just pop off and it does look at that and now in there there are four screws one two three four and i might have the wrong bit here i got the wrong bit there we go now oh, this should just pull right out of here oh my wow that's a mess oh my the trailer manufacturers you gotta do better guys this is uh from a customer perspective cherokee wolfpack come on guys do better than this this is this is terrible okay i'm gonna start by disconnecting all these connectors right here that is honestly a disgusting mess all right so we'll disconnect our antenna this is just so i can put the radio down of course and then what do we got here and we got Two yellows in here. Just gotta remember where these all go, of course. And, uh, hey, a tie strap. Good job, guys. One tie strap, beautiful. This one here, I think, is the remote for outside. And like I said, they have a tie strap here. Congratulations, first tie strap uh, I see in here. We're gonna clean all this up. This is this is really bad. So I need some side cutters or something, and I didn't bring any with me, of course. So, all right. Uh, uh, what am I going to do now? So this right here is our 2012 Wolfpack WP23, I think is what it is. And we picked this up locally. And uh, we're going to be doing some camping. Hey, Ash. Ash. Do you like camping? Do you like camping? He likes camping. Oh, we're back. I got some cutters. So let's pull this thing back out. Not to cut any wires of course maybe there was a uh, some kind of shortage of tie straps in 2012 or 2011 maybe the economy was struggling with tie straps i i honestly don't know all right so that'll do it we have our line out to this guy here so we are good we have the radio disconnected now we can go ahead and start cleaning up these wires also found the wiring diagram online for this unit and if you cannot find it online it might tell you the color codes in the back here no it probably doesn't i'll share with you uh, in the link below where i found the wiring diagram all we need to do is find an auxiliary in here somewhere and we need to find 12 volt switch power and ground and we should be good i hope Alright, 
that was honestly painful that took a good i'd say 30 minutes just to sort out the wires disconnect some of these uh mar connectors that they had the quick connectors here and sort the wires out so that i could have them in their separate units and as you notice i kept all the connections and the pins i kept those all exposed uh, for future diagnosing if we have issues as well as all the labels for what they are okay so what we're looking for right now we're looking for a ground we're looking for a 12 volt switch circuit and then of course we're going to need uh, an auxiliary in and i have gone ahead and i have found a wire here that's labeled this is labeled a uh, 12 volt trigger. So we're going to test this to see if when we turn the radio on, we get our 12 volts here. And that is so when we turn the radio on, we're going to get the 12 volts to turn the Bluetooth adapter on so that the Bluetooth adapter is not on all the time if we hooked it up to constant voltage. And every time you get near the trailer, your phone would hook up to it and you wouldn't even know what's going on. And then of course we have our power over here and our ground. So we're going to be using ground here, switched here, I hope. We're going to test out the test wire in a couple seconds. And then we're going to need to find an input uh, on the back of the radio. There are a number of them here. We'll take a look at these in a second and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, so first let's open up this Bluetooth device that did not come with any instructions whatsoever. All right, looking at it here, we can see we have our power, 12 volts. We have our ground. We have our module with a little light on it. So we'll be able to test if it works or not. And we have our input into our stereo right here. So now what we're going to do is find an input on the back of the unit, like I said. And uh, right now let's test uh, that trigger wire on the back of the radio. Okay, so we are plugged in and now we're going to find a ground on the back of the radio here. Just anywhere in the radio chassis where it's metal should do fine. Right there. And then we have our trigger wire here. And what we're going to do with this trigger wire is we're going to see if there has power. So right now there is none. Now what we want with the trigger wire so that it turns on the Bluetooth unit, we want power when we turn the on button on, on the radio. And if I can find it. Okay, cool. All right. So you hear that? So we have our power on and our power is off. So that's great. That's going to turn the Bluetooth unit on and off. All right, so from here, all we're going to do now is we're going to wire our Bluetooth unit power here, ground up there. Oh, I did forget to think about, we need an auxiliary in. Now this unit has one more right here called AUX2. So this is what we're going to be using here. And we're going to plug our unit right into here. All right, so let's strip our positive wire here. And all we're going to do is we're going to braid it to this pink. so nice and strong and then we're just going to put a little bit of tape on there now you could use heat shrink uh i don't have any so i'm just going to use tape for now so there we go our power wire is done plug in our unit into our aux 2 very nice fit that's good now our ground wire needs to come all the way up to where's our ground our ground is all the way up here as you can see I left that and that is just a marette. So that's going to be a pretty simple one. All right, so now we have our Bluetooth unit here and we're going to turn it on for the first time. Let's turn the radio on. Let's see, you guys can see that light there. All right, radio is on. So this is not a power light apparently. All right, no light. So maybe the light only comes on. There's no instructions with it, guys. I didn't get any instructions. So let me grab my phone and See if I can see it, at least connect to it, right? All right, so I got my phone here. We're going to go to Bluetooth. I do see it. It's called Shuguo 2023. Shuguo. Shuguo. All right. Okay, all right, let's connect to it. All right, so it shows connected, but I still do not see any light on there. So that is strange. Now we're going to go auxiliary two on our unit here. All right, so there's our auxiliary two. Yeah, still no visual indication as to something being connected there. I, I, I'm not sure what that's all about, but. All right, so let's try streaming some non-copyrighted music. All right, so we're gonna play one of my videos from my channel and let's see what happens here. can hear it so it's working good you guys hear that you guys hear that hello my friends welcome back to the channel look what we're doing here that's a handsome guy we right have. there 
Okay, so next test is while I'm connected. Actually, I'm just going to rename. I'm just going to rename this unit here first of all. All right, so the next test is I want to see if the unit disconnects when I turn it off here. So we will watch that. So we are shut off. And as you can see now, Wolfpack trailer not connected. So this is fantastic. Now let's put all this mess back together, get it cleaned up a little bit with some tie straps, get it back in and then like, let's do a real test. This is exciting and cheap too. All right, that is still an absolute spaghetti mess back there, but much better now when I pull it out, everything's gonna be sorted and everything else. So let's just try it again. So we have aux two. I heard it kick on, I heard it go bing bing. That means it must be on. Where's my phone? <sighs> my phone's in there, I think. Okay, got my phone from in there. Let's try this again. Yep, we got uh, music. We don't want to get unmonetized, so we can't be playing that. But yep, trailer connected. I'm going to shut it off here again. Disconnected. That's exactly what we want. So now we're just going to verify all the rest of the functions in the trailer work like they were supposed to. And uh, let's get some uh, non-copyright music in here. Actually, one thing I forgot to do for you guys was uh, show you the actual wiring diagram that I had. Now, I didn't need it because I saw that the wire uh, right away was labeled as a switch wire, but uh, this little diagram is uh, really helpful. So the model number of my radio is an AWM975 Jensen, and uh, I will show you guys where to find this online if I can remember where I found it. But it could also be in your trailer's instruction manuals, uh, all the booklets that you get with the trailer. Uh, I wasn't lucky enough to get the radio booklet. I got every other booklet with the whole trailer, but... Okay, let's get over there. Let's test this thing out. It's all back together and I'm super excited to show you. All right, so we're gonna grab our phone here. I got some non-copyrighted lo-fi beats ready to go. And uh, so currently we're not connected to anything than the Bluetooth, so we're gonna start that up. And you guys can, music's going. And this is how cool this is gonna be with this system here. It's gonna be simply, yeah, it's a commercial. Oh, I love commercials. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. I'll just skip that commercial there we go got some chill lo-fi come over here we're gonna hit on it's already on aux 2 and we are already connected just like that not the best music to try and demonstrate what i'm trying to show you guys but just like that auxiliary 2 is going to be my wi-fi or my bluetooth and we still have our regular aux one, the coaxial, the optic, and all that other stuff. Uh, the Blu-ray, the DVD, which I'm going to have to check to make sure that still works after disconnecting everything. So we will also check that. So again, uh, aux 2 is our music. And the nice thing with these Bluetooth adapters is that you can control the volume with your phone. So if you're outside and it's too loud, you can turn it down. And that is... Bluetooth in your 2012 trailer. So there you go everybody, 2012 Wolfpack Cherokee WP23 trailer, Jensen, uh, what is it, a 975 radio. We added Bluetooth to our auxiliary two uh, for all of, I think that little unit was $17 or $16. And now we have Bluetooth in the trailer all the time without having to bring any other equipment and plug them into the aux cords and all that stuff. So I am super pumped. This is gonna be a great addition to uh, actually when you're out camping and stuff like that. Not to mention, if you're watching YouTube or whatever on your phone, you got 
the video now is playing over the speakers if you wanted to. So that's another really cool feature. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful. And we'll see you guys next time.